Hi, my name is TJ Jafrida. I'm a board certified dermatologist and one of the few fellowship trained most surgeons, skin cancer surgeons in Miami. I've been in private practice in Coral Gables for over 15 years and my practice is based on skin cancer diagnosis, treatment and prevention. So we know, we know that the sun's ultraviolet light rays are harmful and they cause skin cancer. So the most important thing we can do to protect our skin is sun protection. Um, and that starts with sunscreen. So I tell people that the most important thing is just finding a sunscreen that you'll put on. There's all types of different products and formulations. I recommend the broad spectrum sunscreen that protects against UVB and UVA. I also recommend sunscreens that are water resistant because they last longer and they're more resistant to coming off. The other thing that you can do is you can use clothing that is protective against the sun. So nowadays, um, the materials and the fabrics that are used uh, have UPF ratings that are, are excellent for being outdoors. So using, using clothing, um, using hats, using sunglasses, those are all important things that can prevent you from getting skin cancer. And then just common sense things like seek the shade if you're outdoors. Um, don't, don't look to tan, don't go to tanning booths. Those are all things you can do. So there is a difference in, in ultraviolet light rays. The majority of rays that reach the Earth's surface are UVA, and they're responsible for a lot of the skin aging changes that you see, wrinkles and brown spots and red spots. And then UVB, a smaller percentage of those rays reach the Earth's surface, um, but they're, they're more likely to cause skin cancer and also are associated with burns. Both UVA and UVB both contribute to skin cancer and, and aging changes, but um, with UVB, uh, that's what sunscreens are tested for, um, but we're learning more and more that UVA is, is also responsible for a lot of the skin damage that's done. The main cause of skin cancer is, is sun exposure. So like, like a lot of things, there's a part of, of something that is genetic and also environmental and the overwhelming envir environmental factor is the sun exposure and the ultraviolet rays. So we, that's been pretty well established. I like sunscreens that have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide as their main ingredient. But to me, those are the best um, ingredients in sunscreens that are going to protect you. So there's a product by Blue Lizard. They have very good sunscreens. Neutrogena has good sunscreens. Pelta MD has good sunscreens. But the bottom line is you want to find one that you like and use it on a regular basis. You know, one good thing about this skin is that um, if you have a problem on the skin, you can see it. So early detection of, of a problem on the skin or a skin cancer is extremely important for getting treatment. I usually recommend that people get checked at least once a year just preventatively, but if they have a history of skin cancer or something abnormal, then about every six months or twice a year. I spend a lot of time trying to teach people what to look for on their own also because it's important if they were to notice something at home that they come in earlier. So I teach people that if they have a pimple that's not going away after a couple months, if they have a mole that's changing in color, shape, or size, if they've had a birthmark that doesn't look the same as it used to be, or just anything that doesn't seem like it used to or is changing, that's an important reason to go see a dermatologist. Thank you all very much for your questions. I really enjoyed answering them. If you need any other further help with your skin, I can be found in Coral Gables. I'm here five days a week. Um, looking forward to seeing you sometime in the future.